Originally from Michigan and now currently living in Texas, Chandler Keyes has made a name for herself in the tech industry. After she graduated high school, she originally wanted to go into the film industry, but after having coffee with a friend, her mind changed. Her friend explained the wonderful world of coding and project development and how there's a need for more women and minorities in the field. That sparked Chandler's interest, so she signed up for an intro to coding workshop at a local college. And then she discovered she loved writing code. She found out about Grand Circus and signed up for a JavaScript bootcamp. But I'll let her tell you what she learned and loved about her experience. things that appealed to me about Grand Circus was how fast the program is. Um, before that, I was looking at four years of college and the idea of that didn't sound fun. <laughs> so I like the idea of spending 10 weeks in a coding program and then uh, kind of jump starting my career from there. And it saved a lot of time and money. I learned the basics of coding. Um, so I was using Java at the time and I noticed that it was really easy to kind of transfer some of that knowledge into other languages as well. Um, so I learned the, the overall basics of programming and the soft skills that are necessary to work in tech as well. So um, mm -hmm. most people assume uh, that, that coders are just these quiet introverts coding all day. And that's definitely not the case. I would say it's at least 50% communication for me, at least. Um, so I think Grand Circus helped give me those collaborative skills that I needed to succeed in the field. During Chandler's Grand Circus interview process, she knew she was the newcomer to the field. While she didn't have much knowledge about coding, what she did have was enthusiasm to learn. She said she thinks it's great to shed light on how passionate you are about getting into the field during your interview process. She believes those who interviewed her saw her drive to be successful. When she was accepted to be part of the boot camp, there were aspects of the experience that surprised her. I would say one of the most favorite pieces of the boot camp that I actually didn't really prepare myself for was just the amount of connections that I made and people that I still talk to today that are from Grand Circuit. I was coming in with a very focused mindset at the time and just wanted to purely focus on the curriculum, but um, naturally you're collaborating with a lot of your classmates and you end up making some really, really awesome connections um, that you can you can reach out to anytime after the boot camp. And it's, it's just nice seeing everybody grow. After boot camp, Chandler went on to start her own business, Codably, a company which aims to close the diversity gap in the tech industry. I started Codably as a web development business because one of my dreams was to have a tech company of my own. So I found myself coding for eight hours during my full-time job and then an additional four to six hours on the side for a project that I was working on. Over time, I started to get a little burnt out, overwhelmed from all the coding and staring at a screen. So that's when the idea of recruitment kind of kicked in my head. I'm like, oh, I feel like this is something I can do because uh, for one, I have a lot of connections. I'm in a lot of online communities with minorities and underrepresented groups who could um, get connected to these job opportunities. So um, I started Codably's rec uh, the recruitment side of things anyways, to help close the diversity gap, uh, because there's way, way, way more men in the field than there are women and underrepresented individuals as well. So I decided to kind of use the connection pool that I have, and I can use that to help close that gap. Um, during my time in tech as a software engineer, I've always been the only girl on my team, the only minority. And I always had that lingering imposter syndrome um, that I couldn't really identify until I started working for my a more diverse company where I work now, Integral, um, that kind of helped me realize how important diversity is. Talking about imposter syndrome, especially with, you know, being a female in this field or maybe even, you know, for young minorities out there who are considering getting into coding, who don't have that, um, you know, representation and maybe are having feelings of imposter syndrome, like I can't do this or, you know, I just don't feel like it might be right for me, even though I do think I may be good at it. How did you get over imposter syndrome and kind of say, no, I'm going to go and do this no matter what? So one of the things that helped me a ton was just surrounding myself with people that were in a similar situation. Um, I was in a lot of online communities. There was Girl Develop It, which 
Um, I'm not a part of now, but uh, that was one of the first communities I joined that involved a lot of female coders, women who code as well. They have some Slack communities mm -hmm. and I just recommend joining more groups of people who have more people like you. So you can actually connect with them, perhaps get mentorship with them and just kind of bounce back your ideas with them. Cause it, it just helps validate you. And, and lets, it reminds you that you're, you know, you're not alone. Um, one of the things that helped a lot with my imposter syndrome was working for a more diverse company. Uh, so in a role where I work now, it's it's way more diverse than the last companies that I worked for because the imposter syndrome just kind of diminished naturally. I wasn't even thinking about it, wasn't focused on the fact that they were diverse. It was just one of those natural things. If anyone's looking for mentorship advice or interview practice, they can always come to me. My LinkedIn is Chandler Keys, or they can reach out on Codably's website. I have a contact form. Um, that they can fill out as well. And I'd be more than happy to help with uh, mentorship, interviewing, anything like that.